What's going to surprise people most about the story of inheritance? I think probably uh, what happens, the romance between Aragon and Arya, how that resolves in the last book will probably surprise some of the readers. And I think also how how the actual confrontation between Aragon and the great and evil villain King Galvatorix, how that plays out is also going to surprise the readers. Uh, as my editor said, she said, it's very twisty. So hopefully it will be both surprising and satisfying. I didn't know what I was going to do after I graduated from high school, but because I graduated so young, uh, my, my parents didn't really feel comfortable sending me off to college right away. And it was the right choice. So I didn't have anything I needed to do. I wasn't in school, I didn't have a job, the nearest town was a half mile away by, by car, excuse me, a half hour away by car, and I didn't drive. So it was kind of like, okay, I'm out of school, what do I do with my life, you know? It was kind of fun for the first week or two where I didn't have to do anything, but then it was like, okay, I'm bored. And I really enjoyed reading sci-fi fantasy. I felt like I wanted to contribute, I wanted to give back, I wanted to write the sort of story I enjoyed reading and to write a tribute to all the stories that had inspired me. And to that end, I wanted to use, you know, the various elements that had so, you know, that I'd found so much fun. So that was, you know, a young man finding a dragon, a, a young man with a magic sword and a wise old mentor with a mysterious past and an evil villain and dwarves and elves and battles and villains and romance and, and all that stuff. And eventually, of course, the series, the book and the series took over my life, and here it is 12 years later, and I'm just finishing it. When I started writing the series, Aragon was the one that I related to the most, mainly because I was the same age, and in many ways I based him off of me. But he does a lot of stuff I've never done, such as fighting monsters and flying dragons and rescuing beautiful elven princesses and that sort of thing. Unfortunately, I have yet to do that sort of thing. But I have grown up faster than Aragon has grown up. And I think now I relate a lot more to the character of Rorin. Uh, and I'm still enormously fond of Aragon, of course, but um, he and I parted paths a long time ago. Where to start? Um, well, the first thing was that I was going around dressed in medieval costume. And the first event I ever did in a, in a high school, the local high school, First time I was ever in the high school, I walked in at 16, I, was it 16, 17, dressed in medieval costume, and of course all the kids were making fun of me. Uh, another time I arm wrestled a guy. Uh, I bet him that if I beat him arm wrestling, he'd have to buy a book, and I did, so he bought the book. You know, you do crazy things when books sold meant food on the table, but uh, I, yeah, I stood on my hands, uh, I did cartwheels, I stood in, in, in grocery stores by the, by the sliding doors at the entrance and talked with people for eight hours straight. And I would still do those things if I needed to because I love writing and it's the readers and the fans who make it possible for me to continue writing as a career.